M0 FXB Hamtech, welcome back to the channel. Just a quick one here, showing MQTT in action. Now, I don't advise you, you run this for more than about a minute, but you can see there on my phone, my Android phone here, there's lots of messages coming through MQTT, which is basically connected the M-Tastic, Mesh-Tastic device, Caught cool, such a mouthful. To, to the you know to the internet effectively and I hardly ever use this but I just someone asked me well, how do you get it working so here's my node via serial mode so type in to and I'll put the, put the link in the description client.meshtastic.org and then you're into this window here so this is my device here up on the left that is just named at the moment 23T I could rename that rename it like so let's call it m0 fxb ham tech just for now so i get sold off and it says here short name m0 fxb there you go oh it will only give let me say that so i'll just do that for now so you, you can see it's it's sent out and the i'm just going to show you my my configuration so if we go through, there's the messages that I've, I've already sent one. So I'll just go high, like so. Uh, we've got the map there, which is showing lots of nodes there. Not sure if I'll show up, but I've only been running this for a few minutes. That's just my uh, thing there, just cancel that for now. If we go down to config, Okay, and then we've got the the client, then serial output has been enabled, enabled debug log, that's turned off, scrolling down, everything else is off. Go to channels, then at the moment, at the top it says primary. Going down, this one's really key, it says here, uplink enabled, downlink enabled. You have to click submit here as well, otherwise it's not gonna work. That's that, and we'll go down to node there. You've got all these different nodes that I've been uh, looking at. Back to the top here. Go to messages. Not sure if I'm going to get any messages. And then I'll just quickly show you my settings, then I'll turn off MQTT. So there's the messages there. Got a thumbs up there. Um, and then all the different ones there when I click these two people like so and we'll go to three dots go to radio configuration and scroll down to MQTT which I'm going to turn off in a sec but you can see the settings there MQTT enabled it's pretty much all I did there go back go to network we're on serial mode now anyway Display, config, LoRa, long fast there, TX enabled, 869 megahertz it says there, Bluetooth settings, serial is enabled, that's how we're able to connect it to the mesh tastic that you're seeing just up here on the left. And there's lots of lots of different settings there. So I'm going to turn it off now. Just go to MQTT. And then we just turn it off. Okay. Now on the phone, if you go to channels, then double click. This is where you need to, instead of using the serial connection, you need to enable these look uplink, downlink, and then save. Yeah, otherwise it's not gonna you're not gonna send anything. Go back to sorry the network. I haven't changed anything there. Wi-Fi is not enabled. When you select Wi-Fi, it turns off the Bluetooth position. I have actually got a GPS model module in mine. There you go, GPS enabled look. But you can use a fixed position. Power, network display, LoRa, Bluetooth. So MQTT, which is 
it was off but I'm just gonna have to send that to the device go send and that turns it off and I recommend you keep it off most of the time and you'll you'll see that the node will reboot There's my node down here it's a bit blurry but there's my node not the clearest image and you can scroll through the node and look at all the messages sorry they're not very clear on mine so you know put this down as a learning video and um, we'll come back in the morning fresh and we'll relook at all of this bye for now seven three